Hi everyone, welcome. This is Rachel Georges, the artist behind Gorgeous Mixed Media. And firstly, let me say I am sorry I have been missing in action, um, partly due to this little guy. Uh, this is Link. This is a baby kitten that decided to adopt us right when we got back from vacation. We were out walking our dogs in the late evening and we heard this meow across the street and he ran across and started following us home. And uh, yeah, so Link has adopted us. <laughs> So it's, uh, it's been madness. Um, I have two big dogs and we've had to kind of keep them separated for the most part. And, uh, so playing with the cat and spending time with the cat and spending time with the dogs, it's, it's been madness. Um, so I'll, I'll get into that some more, but I mean, how cute is this little guy? So he's solid black. He does have some some spots or stripes right now. I don't know if those will disappear with time. But anyway, let me get into the colors and I'll, I'll get back into that in a minute. So first of all, this base coat is a bunch of leftover paint that I've refreshed with some white to create kind of that lavender color. And then this is a Liquitex fine gold with a little bit of the golden iridescent pearl and this is the nickel azo yellow by golden it's a pretty color and then this is amsterdam i believe permanent green with a little bit of Payne's gray by lucas krill and amsterdam lemon yellow um, so in addition to those colors i did decide to use uh a white, an Amsterdam white that I had left over. Uh, so in my first pour did not go so well. Um, actually, before I mixed up these colors, I did a pour using a bunch of leftover paints that I had from before my vacation. And I don't know if it was me being rusty or what, but for whatever reason, uh, it did not turn well, it did not turn out well. <laughs> Um, sometimes that's how it goes. So I scraped it and uh, this is painting number two. So I wasn't too sure about these colors, but you know, I, I can't live in a bubble. I have to do something different. You know, I have to try different things out. And so um, that's what I'm doing. You know, I tend to gravitate, gravitate to the blues and the cooler colors um, so I really wanted to pep it up and, and try something brand new. So that's why I decided to uh, check out how it would go with, you know, the green and the yellow. Um, I was pretty sure the yellow would look great against the kind of lavender background, but I wasn't too sure about the green. And honestly, with this piece, I hated it. I hated it immediately after I poured it and I hated it all the way up until I started getting into the brushwork. But um, once I got into the brushwork, then I realized that it was actually kind of cool and uh, actually kind of liked it. <laughs> so um, maybe that's that's just another reminder to, you know, step away if you're not sure just don't immediately scrap something that you're not too sure about because even if you don't love it at first, you might come back on day number two and decide that, you know, it's the best thing you ever made. So um, I, don't, I don't think this is the best thing I've ever made, but it definitely grew on me um, as I worked with it. So... That being said, you know, it's it's part of exploration. You know, if I only did what I knew I was good at, um, I feel like I would never really progress and I'd never really grow. So here I'm just laying in some more of the puddle colors. Um, initially, 
that goldish champagne color that I mixed really got lost. Um, I think I poured most of it off. Um, so I'm adding a little bit of more of that. I'm adding some more green. Uh, and then in a few moments, you'll see me drop in some of the primary elements of that sort of reddish color. It's called Plumeria by Color Art. Um, so you'll see that in a moment. But let me talk about the kitty for a minute. <laughs> so this kitty, um, he is very social. He wants to be around us all the time, uh, which is tough because, you know, we, like I said, we have two big dogs and one of which is a very prey driven dog. So, um, at first, of course, she wanted to eat him. <laughs> So, so we had to keep them separate and she's getting better. She no longer wants to eat him, but now she wants to groom him at the same time. She also wants to dominate him. So she tries to sit on him. So, uh, we're doing controlled introductions and it's probably going to take several months before, um, we can trust, uh, her to not hurt the kitty. Um, my other dog, my white dog, is a great Pyrenees uh, lab mix. He doesn't care about the cat. He could care less. Um, in fact, a lot of times we'll, when, we, when we do have the cat out, we'll leave him out too so that, you know, the cat can get social with him and, and learn how to act around, you know, dogs. So that's, that's been a lot. And, um, in addition to that, I've been incredibly busy with work and just so you know, I'm dropping in some alcohol inks. Uh, that's the rich gold by pinata. So that's what I'm doing here. I don't know. I just, I love the, the look of those alcohol inks. And so there's the wet results. One thing I will say about this painting is it changed a lot after I was done uh, manipulating it. You know, when I left it to dry, it continued to change. Um, and I don't know if it's possibly due to the weather. Usually about an hour in to two hours in, it'll stop shifting. But uh, with this one, it continued to, sh it, it really shifted probably four or five hours later, it was still changing. So, so that was different. Um, those primary elements really shifted a lot and you can see how they kind of dispersed a little and it, it gave kind of this smoky look to the overall painting. So, uh, I'm just going in with some of those puddle paints and touching up places and, uh, trying to highlight some of the darks and things like that. Uh, so back to what I was talking about. Um, work has been busy. I do have a day job. <laughs> My art does not support me. Uh, I do it because I love it and I share it with you guys because I'd love for it to be seen um, more than anything. I just, I like to share what I've created, but um my art certainly doesn't support me. Uh, I'm a bad salesman and uh, honestly, it it's not a big deal to me to sell a bunch of work. Uh, so I enjoy doing it. And I think putting this, the stress of selling it is, uh, I feel like it would make it less enjoyable, but maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe next year. I mean, I do have a website and I do actively sell my work. I just, I'm not really good about promoting it or letting people know that it's available or any of those things. So, and I probably never will be very good at that. Um, maybe that's a New Year's resolution. Uh, but so I do have a day job and it's really busy this time of year. End of year is the time for us to wrap up projects that we're working on and try to finish out our goals for the year. So um, I've had to kind of focus on that as well as 
focus on the cat and, you know, socializing the cat and the dogs and getting them used to each other. And so, yeah, it's just, it's been madness. Um, in addition to that, I kind of felt like I needed a little bit of a break from social media. Um, I don't know if any of my viewers, if you guys, I'm sure some of you also have, you know, art accounts that you have and, and social media accounts that you try to stay up with. And, uh, Sometimes it's a bit much feeling like daily you've got to post something or record something or be, you know, out there for people to stay in touch with you and, and to feel like you're being seen. Um, and for me, it, you know, it does get a little bit stressful. Um, naturally, I'm a pretty introverted person. So <laughs> to feel like I've constantly got to, you know, put myself out there is a little bit uncomfortable. Um, so I felt like I did need some downtime from that. And, and you know, I think that's perfectly okay uh, for any of you out there who, who feel the same. I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, recognizing that, hey, maybe you need to take a break. Um, and so I continue to paint. Uh, as I had time throughout that little break, uh, but, you know, paint for yourself. Um, and I, I feel like that was something that was missing was I wasn't really getting a lot of opportunity to just paint and not worry about recording and not worry about editing. And, um, so, so yeah, that's, I, I just took some time off to, uh, take care of life and, uh, and get back to enjoying the process of creating. Um, so as you can see, I'm really darkening, uh, the greens and I'm, I'm adding to the reds and kind of trying to blend those out a little bit more. Cause I feel like they were very, you know, stark and I didn't feel like they really went with the overall composition the way they were. So I kind of tried to play into the shadowy, kind of smoky look of the overall piece by using a dry brush and kind of fading out some of that red and smoothing it out in places. Um, and then again with the, the green, a lot of it really fed, it faded into the background. So um, same thing, I went in and just kind of touched that up and uh, deepened it and added more contrast. Uh, some of what you don't see on this is I did add a few little pops of kind of a teal color because I still felt like it was kind of missing uh, something. And so I added a little bit of teal in places. Um, I did go in with an iridescent pearl and touched up, uh, added some lines that weren't there. Uh, and things like that. So pretty, uh, pretty intensive brush work on this one. I probably spent a couple of days on it, to be honest. And here are the finished results out in the daylight. So uh, you get a better, better look at it. And so I really do like the way this kind of morphed and blended and moved. Uh, I do like the movement in the piece. Uh, so I'd, I'd be happy to know what you guys think about it. So thank you so much for sticking around. If you've made it this far, um, I'll definitely be back to my normal scheduled uh, video recordings, uh, putting those out weekly. And uh, here's some watercolors that I've been working on. These are, you know, little abstract studies, and I really have been enjoying these. Um, I've done some still life practice. I've done landscapes. And uh, so this week I've kind of played around a lot with some abstract ideas. And so that's what, what these are. Um, and I really love the way they turned out. I love the way these... Uh, watercolors move. I love the way they play together. Um, it really kind of lends itself to uh, my style. 
And this is one that I have on my bench that I'm working on right now. And so I think it's nearly done. And hopefully I'll start putting out some videos on those as well. Uh, so here's a last look at Link riding the Yuffie. He's about two and a half, three months old now. And he is a handful. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful week.